Strong Island, baby. All right. Everyone knows Ashanti as a music superstar. If you were near radio in the early 2000s, then you know her Long Island's R&B princess. In 2002, Ashanti released her debut album, which earned her a Grammy for Best Contemporary R&B Album, and went on to appear in movies, TV shows, and even a stint on Broadway. I got the door. <laughs> Today, she's back out on the road, touring with Ja Rule, promoting her new album off her own record label, and a new movie in which she stars and produces. Ashanti was an angel in church, and I'm just kidding. <laughs> What many don't know is that Ashanti is a foodie at heart. Look what I got to go cake. In the midst of her whirlwind schedule, the Glen Cove native took a few days off to come home for a visit. Hey, go Kirby! <laughs> while in town, she invited me over to join her while she makes her usual stops around the island to recharge and fill up on her favorite foods. I do like a little dance. Wait, like, let's little. see if I got this. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a good dance? Is that a good salmon dance? That's the good salmon, salmon dance. dance. <laughs> you know the Grammy winner Ashanti. Now meet the girl from Glencoe. Ashanti started the day by visiting her parents' home at the Ritz-Carlton Residences in North Hills. I jumped in the car and headed over, eager to see if she could create a dish as well as she could create a radio hit. Who is it? Pervez. Hey. Hey, Ashanti. How are you? I had no idea you could cook. I'm excited to see what you can do. Listen, I get busy, okay? All right. <laughs> She invited me into their apartment to try a favorite salmon kebab recipe she's been working on ever since she made the switch to being a pescatarian two years ago. This meal is one of her favorites to cook when she is home. I'm gonna do some salmon kebabs, some Brussels sprouts, and I'm gonna do some baked potatoes. Ooh. Keeping it kind of healthy, you know, in All case right. I don't have time to get to the gym. First up are the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are how... See, the trick is, these have been marinating. I like them a little bit charred, so like they're crispy and not soggy. These are like flavor. Let that sizzle for a minute. After the Brussels sprouts comes the main event, preparing the salmon for the oven. I'm gonna take the salmon out. So I do this to kind of like open the salmon up, okay. let the seasoning Let the seasoning go inside, down. got yeah. it. Okay, you know I mean? see what you're doing. Ashanti loves playing with spices and dishes she creates. This I love. It's smoked Spanish paprika. Gives it a little like mmm mmm mm. while he's I'm tasting some while you while he's with... tasting a little bit of that. I'm gonna move to the next tiny. Bit Whoa, it's of... got a bite to it too. Yeah, a little bit of pow. Pow. Do those knives say Shanti <laughs> on them? They sure do. <laughs> Aren't they cool? I, I have a really cool friend. His name is Chef Barry. Oh, and he got these for me for my birthday. Okay, now this is a little bit of a secret, but guess where it's from? Dublin, Ireland. Wow. We took this out of a restaurant. <laughs> Don't tell them though. I like to experiment, put a little bit of this, put a little bit of that, and keep it nice and international. After placing the salmon in the oven, we move to the baked potatoes. All right, so let's get these going here. More seasonings coming out here. More seasonings coming out. Seasoning. I'm a seasoned chick, okay? <laughs> in more facets than one. <laughs> After the salmon kebabs are ready, the Brussels sprouts charred, and the baked potatoes warm and fluffy, Ashanti adds one more round of spices and we dig in. Could Ashanti throw down in the kitchen like she does on a stage? It was time to find out. See, when it tastes good, you gotta do like a little dance. Wait, let's like, see if I got this. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a good dance? Is that a good salmon dance? That's the good salmon, salmon dance. dance. <laughs> Salmon's so good, it makes you dance. But we were just getting started. Ashanti had a lot more of Long Island to show me. So we headed out of her mom's house and hit the road. Next up, Ashanti's culinary tour of Glen Cove. Wait a minute, do we need to clean this up first? We're at the Ritz. Oh, they take care of all of that. That's why it's awesome here. Wait a minute, it's they clean awesome up here. for you? They clean up for you. My mom, she's got it made over here. Wow. <laughs> First 
stop is First Baptist Church. I used to sing there, you know, when I was small. I was a sunbeam. Whoa. The children's choir. Appreciate it. Thank you. I got the door. <laughs> what was it like growing up in Long Island? You know what? It was actually awesome growing up in Long Island. We didn't have to worry about a lot of crime. There's beaches, there's pools. It's so diverse. Really appreciated it. I went to Glen Cove High. I had a good high school experience. I played sports. I was a cheerleader. What sports did you play? Well, I ran track. Um, I actually started running track when I was in junior high with varsity. So I was in eighth grade. Oh, wow, grade. so you were advanced already. I made the wall of fame in my school. I got scouted for the Olympics, and I also got a scholarship to Princeton. In 2002, Ja Rule comes along, and all of a sudden you have not one hit, but three hits. <laughs> Amazing. People think that, oh, I just met Ja Rule on Tuesday and that Always On Time came out on Wednesday. That is not how it went. And I got my first deal when I was 14. I was signed to Jive Records. I was getting picked up in a town car, driven to the studio, doing my homework in the car, recording, and then coming back home, all in high school. After that, we started doing like local talent shows. My mom would take me into the city and do these live auditions. What was your go-to back then? I used to sing um, in Vogue. Hold on. All right, you're way better than I am. <laughs> yep. What made you want to stay on Long Island? When I think of Long Island, I think of growing up. I think of high school. I think of love, support, family. Your grandfather's a pretty big deal, too. Uh, and sometimes I'll still get labeled as Jimmy Davis's granddaughter. Wow. You know, oh, that's Jimmy Davis' granddaughter. You're gonna turn down his street. It's called James Davis Way. So what is the food like here at the church? I mostly come for the cake. <laughs> I am definitely looking forward to these cakes. <laughs> Wow, this is old school. Super old school, but super authentic. It's simple, but it feels like family. It feels intimate. It feels very blessed. Oh my gosh, this brings back a lot of memories. It was a sunbeam right here. We used to have to stand right here. And if you mess up, you know, she's right here. She'll throw that look to you. <laughs> <laughs> Even the piano player in church is showing you shade, okay. Just maybe a little bit. You gotta make sure we get it right. All right. I love the church and, and all this, but isn't there cake that we're gonna be eating soon? I thought you'd never ask. So the cake is downstairs. Pow! Oh my gosh. Oh wow. See what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna have to go to the gym five times because I'm taking two slices of each cake. Ashanti wasn't joking when she spoke about her Aunt Mimi's cakes. I was eager to meet the woman behind these infamous desserts. Hi, Ashanti, <laughs> Bobby. Hello, hi, Mimi. Mm, oh, good hi, to see you. God bless. Welcome home. So, Mimi, what do we have here? Um, just the typical cakes that we would have after Sunday dinner here at church. These are typical? Oh, yes. <laughs> these, are, these are just typical lemon cake, coconut cake, pound cake. That's this seems like a good way to get people to come to church. Wow. <laughs> see, this is worth going to the gym. All right, see, now this is what I'm saying. After your nice Sunday dinner, you come downstairs, you get your Sunday church dessert with the family are here. Ashanti gets special treatment these days when she comes to church? When Shani comes to church, she is treated like anybody else. Of course, pastor greets her, we all greet her. But when we have um, Sunday dinner after service, she has to come down and get online like everyone else. Mother Pam, make sure. But what she doesn't know is I still be cutting the line. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you guys have here on Sundays besides cake? Sunday Please, you're bringing potatoes, me. Potatoes, potatoes, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> they made it. <laughs> And it's all good. All good, all, all good. home cooked and fresh. What was Ashanti like as a child in the church? 
Ashanti was an angel in church. And I'm just gonna... <laughs> Where are we going next? If you have a little bit of room left, I think we should hit Lamani's. Wow, from yeah. church to Lamani. From church to Lamani. All right. Look what I got to go mm. cake. You should feel special because Mother Pound, she's not let two slices slide. <laughs> Tell me about this new single you have out. Hey! <laughs> it's called Say Less. Featuring Ty Dolla Sign. All right, you gotta be Ty Dolla. Ready? Oh, out to the party. party. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And they can't tell me nothing, no. Like stop it. Them chicks over there not popping. Hey, we go on them on bottles. And they can't tell me nothing, no. Yeah, yeah. I got that part down. Like in my face, say less. If it ain't about the money, say less. If it ain't from the click, say less. A little upbeat. A little upbeat? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Get the vibe like this. Next weekend. Cause I'ma put that good on you. Hey! Go, Kirby! <laughs> the last stop on the Ashanti food tour is dinner at one of her favorite restaurants, Lamani. Located on Northern Boulevard in Roslyn. Opened in 2008, Lamani was an instant hit and is a fixture on Newsday's annual list of top 10 seafood restaurants. So why Lamani's? I just like the vibe in here, you know? I love seafood, and it just feels light and airy. Ashanti's go-to meal at Lamani starts with a delicate crab cake, gently packed with large lumps of tender meat and served with giant beans. Her vegetable of choice is a plate full of steamed asparagus stalks, which are simply tossed with olive oil and sea salt. To round out the meal, she orders swordfish, grilled hunks paired with charred tomatoes and irresistible lemon potatoes. This crab cake is phenomenal. So good. It's got just a little hint of spice to it. Full of crab. The sauce is awesome. It's just really good. Is there a favorite song over the years that you uh, would say that you released? My biggest song released to date would have to be Foolish, which ironically is my first single. I haven't really worked with a lot of females, you know? I think that's something that I would like to get done. I want to do something cool. It's easy to see why Lamani is a top choice for Ashanti. This Long Island temple to Greek food knows how to treat its seafood well. This swordfish is just flavored so well. It looks very classic, almost like you would find in Greece. Mm-hmm. And it's prepared very simply. Yeah, that's the thing. It doesn't feel fishy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Papers, a little bit of sauce. All right, I'm going to do this. Here, I got you. You got me? I got you. There you, got you go. Me. Thank you. What does the ultimate success look like? Being happy and comfortable, you know, being able to sleep at night with a good conscience and um, make a living and, and love what you do doing it. And that's exactly what Ashanti has done. With a music career that has spanned over a decade, Glencoe's R&B Grammy winner has a life both on and off Long Island that she can be proud of. Did I pick a good spot or what? You picked a great spot. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Good to see Ashanti's uh, look at food on Long Island. Strong Island. <laughs> we left my car at your mom's house. Oh, yeah. So I need to ride back. I got you. Don't worry. But it's safe. At the Ritz, it's safe. Don't All right. right. They got Excellent. you. Excellent. Let's go. <laughs> The music, I knew, but Ashanti's culinary tour was quite the insight into the multifaceted world of Ashanti. With a new perspective on life behind Glen Cove's biggest star, it's easy to see why Ashanti rushes back to Long Island whenever she can.